And so all I've done is made a series of clove hitches and I've tried to make the thumb loops equal in length. It's important that you have your thumb loops at least about nine to 10 inches because if they're too short, what will happen is they'll wrap around the spindle faster and that will create more resistance. And it's gonna be really hard for you to get, get the RPMs that you need in order to create the coal. And that allows me for downward pressure. So that's the one advantage it has over the hand drill by itself. You also need a spindle that's about two feet to two and a half feet long. Let me go ahead and explain what we've got with the fireboard. The fireboard should be about the width of your thumb. You shave it down nice and flat. You'll make a bowl by burning in with the spindle. So you'll burn that in, then you'll make your notch. Typically what I do is I'll put the spindle on the fireboard. I'll burn in a little notch there, a little bowl, and then I'll cut a notch into it. Don't make your notch too narrow. If it's too narrow, what's gonna happen is the coal dust is just going to leave the notch. It's gonna to be too narrow and it's not gonna stay there long enough to collect and therefore you're gonna have a tough time getting it to ignite. I'm gonna go ahead and try to make a coal real quick. I'm gonna go ahead and create some friction here. And there we go. We've got a coal. There we go. I don't know if you can see that. 